Drop it. Back. Let's now move to our next set of programs. So for today, I'm going to discuss to you three programs here. Multiple line and single line comments, and L example, and set W example. Let's now go to our browser. Now we have our browser here. For our first program, I'm going to demonstrate to you how we use comments. Comments are notes that allows a programmer to know what's the meaning of a particular line or let's say they want to provide description of the program that they are creating. In C++, we have two types of comment. We have single line comment and then we also have a multiple line comment or a block comment. So as you can see here at the first section of our section of our code, we have this program demonstrate the use of a multi-line and single line comment here. It started with a slash asterisk and asterisk backslash commands or uh, codes. So if you place items within an, oh, this uh, code here, what it does is the compiler ignores the codes that are placed and it does not execute this particular line. So this is a multi-line comment. This is now a single line comment wherein a programmer or developer can provide uh, codes or notes per line here. So let's say this section here, float RHV, allows us to declare a variable or this is the variable declaration. Now, again, this code will not be executed. It's only a note for the programmer to identify, let's say this section here is for variable declaration. Same goes with this one here. So if you have here C in R and then H, this line here reads data from the keyboard or accepts input. And this line here, V is equal to 3.14 multiplied by R, R, and then H. This is our computation area, wherein it computes for the volume of the, uh, computes for the volume. If you like to add another single, um, line comment all you need to do is to type it here okay so let's say displays the output so this one here uh, is the in uh, single line comment for this code so if you run this program okay let's go to this one here let's click run so i mentioned before the compiler does not execute the comments Okay, they are just guide for the programmer. So let's say we want to enter radius and height, let's say 12 and then 4, enter. So the volume of the cylinder is this one. Again, the, the program does not execute the notes, but rather it's just a comment for the user. Okay, so this is our first program. Let's now proceed to our next example. So let's go to our GitHub here. So I'll need to copy and paste the codes. Copy. And then I'll need to go back here. Paste. Again. So our next program demonstrates the use of the setw function. Setw function is a, is a function that allows us to set the width for a particular text that you like to display. Now, in order for you to use this function, you have to include this particular library. So type sharp include io manip. Okay, this is the library that would uh, be incorporated or included into your code so that you could use the setw function. Now, if you look at the codes here, this section here, so we have c out and then you're going to use setw. The numbers here, 10 and 20, signifies the spaces or width of the text that you're going to display. So let's say um, we, would have, we will have here set W10, Haven. So what it does, it, it will display Haven. It will allocate 10 spaces for Haven. And then this one here will allocate 10 or 20 spaces for Jan Johan. So if we're going to execute the line of code here, run, see what will happen. So we have here Haven. So from there, we have a blank space here. This is 10, okay? 
uh, from 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 we have here 10 spaces and then we set here set w uh, johan then we're going to have here 20 spaces if you like to add another one so let's say c out then it does type here set w and then let's say we want to have here 30 and okay so let's type here haji then semicolon now in order for you to i need to add here another code which is end line okay there so i'll explain end line later now if i execute this command run this is now the output this is we displayed haven here with 10 spaces we display Jan Johan for 20 spaces. Now we displayed here Haji with um, 30 spaces. The function here end line allows us to move the carriage to the next line. Okay, so that's why there are some spaces here. If we will not include this one here, let's go back to the original text. Run the code. What you're going to see is that. The text here, Haji, is placed within the same line as Jan Johan, but still, we have 30 spaces or width uh, in this line of code, okay? So, that's our second program. Let's move on to the third. So, I'll go back here. Let's go to program number six. Okay. copy the codes go back to our editor and then paste now this program allows us to use the end line function and if you see something like end l it's it means end line okay what it does is it provides it moves uh, the item to the next line okay so here is our variable declaration so we have declared three variables a b and then c where a is equals to 12 b is equals to 13 and then c is 14. from there we're going to display here um, three numbers okay then we're going to ask the user to display out the values now take note i'm using here c out and then a b and then c what it does is it will just retrieve the values of a which is 12 b is 13 and then c is 14. from here uh, we could now display the output okay now end line allows us move, to move the courage to the next line so if we run the codes it should display oh okay sorry Okay, I forgot. So this should be a semicolon. I forgot that. Let's run it again. There. So we have here display the values using C out. Now end line here. So moves the item to the next line. So we printed out the uh, the cursor moves here, and then we print out the value of A and then end line B and then C. Okay. So it allows us to use the end line to move to the next line here. So that is module, or that is our third example. So hope you like it. Uh, I'll, I'll show you our next example next time. Okay, thank you. Bye.